Lord of Lords. We welcome you in this place, Lord. We welcome your presence. We welcome your anointing. We welcome your Holy Spirit. Father, you are glorious in praises, fearful in praises, doing wonders in the earth. We invite your presence in today, Lord. Go before us. Order our steps today in your word and in worship. Let your Holy Spirit fill this house. Warm the hearts of every person, everyone that is in house and everyone that is viewing online. Warm our hearts with your love, with your grace, and with your mercy. Hallelujah. Continue in prayer. If you will. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. We ex Father, we bless your name. We bless you, Lord. Name, God. We, we honor you. We worship you this evening, O oh God. Who is like us, O oh God? There is none like you, no know, way, God. None like you. You reign and supreme in all the earth, O oh God. Yes, Lord. Ah, before anything that was made, you was God. You are the I am that I am this evening, Father. The Alpha and the Omega. The yes, beginning Lord. and the end, God. Father, we praise you. We exalt your name, O oh God. Yes, oh, Father, we say, blessed be the name of our God this evening. Father God, as we come in your presence, we come to the blood of the Lamb. We come in the name of the risen one, Yahshua Mashiach, the Christ of Nazareth, Lord, the one who sits at the right side of the Father this evening, Father. Oh God, we praise you, O oh God. Father, your word is said that is not by might, not by power. But it's by the Spirit. Oh God, we give you access. Oh God, we give you full reign in this meeting this evening, Lord. Oh God, we come to meet with you, oh God. Oh God, Father, we lay aside everything, every weight, everything that so be easily beset in us this evening, Father. We lay it at your feet this evening, oh God. And we say, Come, Lord Jesus, come. Come and take over this evening. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We appreciate you this evening, God. Because we recognize without you, we can't do anything, God. In you, we move and have our being today, God. Oh, God, so we welcome you, Lord. Oh, God, Father, we welcome you to take over this life this evening, oh, God. Take over, God, all those, Father, that are in your presence. Oh, God. You know the hearts, you know the needs, oh God, you know the longing in the soul. Oh God, come, Lord, and let a fresh wind blow. Let the fire of the glory of the Lord come down, Lord, and rest upon every person connected on this life. Oh Lord, let there be sudden turn arounds, let there be breakthrough, let there be an awakening, God. Let whole family salvation come, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh God. We decree, Lord, uh, by your power and your authority, uh, God, Father, by the entrance of your word, uh, light and revelation and understanding will come. Uh, oh, Lord, Father, those who need a touch from you, Lord, uh, oh, God, let them feel your presence this evening, oh, God. Uh, oh, God, touch the areas, oh, God. Uh, bring healing, oh, God. Uh, bring restoration, oh, God. Uh, let there be a new baptism this evening, Lord. Uh, let the wind of change come. Let the wind of revival blow. Blow in every home, God. Blow to the nations, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, by your power and your authority. Let suckers be broken. Let chains be broken. Oh God, let the captive be set free. Let those that are bound be loose. Oh God, by your power and your authority, this evening, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, let the servant will come. And pass on to the season, oh God. We lift up before your throne. And we ask, oh God, that you pour. Pour oils of anointing upon our God. Oh God, Father, let there be times of refreshing upon us this evening, Lord. Oh God, let the joy of the Lord be our strength. Oh God, let give her the mind, oh God of Christ. Give her the word, oh God. From your throne this evening, O oh Lord, uh, that you will speak forth your mysteries uh, and your revelations. Uh, oh God, and the hearers will find grace and strength uh, in the time of need. Uh, in the name of Jesus, Father God, we decree open heavens, uh, open heavens in the sun. 
sanctuary. Yeah. Open heavens today, oh God. Let the cherubims and the serpents come. Oh God, cover the calls, oh God, from heaven. And touch our lips. Purify us, we pray today, God. Purify our hearts. Purify our minds. Purify our souls. Oh God, this evening, Father, we rededicate our lives to you. We give all of our talents to be used for the furtherance of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We offer ourselves as living sacrifices. Oh God, which is our reason of our service. Oh God, this evening, Father, you say one shot set a thousand for flight, two ten thousand. We decree an army of agreement to see the Lord.
We are God. They have stepped on the order by the Lord. They have stepped on the order into the presence of the Lord. Ah, God, for in the presence of the Lord, they are in joy. Joy for the year ahead. Joy for the days ahead. Joy for the weeks ahead. In the mighty name of Jesus. We see the finished work. We see the finished work. We see the finished work. We decree household salvation in this truly time. God, in this year 5782. Oh God, we decree household salvation, household deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, be magnified. Father, be glorified in our lives. Oh, Sakaya Basse. God, be glorified. He can do rebel Sakata. Be glorified to the God in everything that we do and say. Let it bring honor and glory to your name, God. And call our lives to go to another level in the mighty name of Jesus. Take us up.
coming up Praise in the presence of the Jesus. Lord there is fullness of joy Praise and at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore oh, and when you come to the gathering of the Lord and bless the gathering Lord. of the saints Every single one of us can lift up a note. It doesn't matter how yes. high your notes can go Amen. or how low your notes are. As long as you lift up a praise unto the Lord. Amen. This next song is very appropriate for every single one of us in the sanctuary. Because this next song talks about preparing our temples to be living sanctuaries. This is the year of the dwelling place of the Lord. And more than looking for an earthly building, the Lord is looking for every single human being to yes. offer their temples yes. as a living sacrifice. Hallelujah. Let's sing that song today. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. Pure and holy, tried and true, tried and true. With thanksgiving, with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary. I'll be a Thank you. 
Moi.
is what you will attract. That's right. And so if you release into the atmosphere a victim voice or a statement like a victim, then you become a victim. And I said if you speak as a victorious person, then that victor's anointing comes upon you. And so I came to announce over you today in this new month, it is the month of Chesman, that's a Hebrew new month. Some of you know we are in October, but I am referring to the eighth month in the biblical calendar, it's the month of Chesman. And the Lord said to tell you that in this new month of Chesman, we are moving into a season where you are required to wear your coat of many colors. Because you are moving from a season of joy and from joy God is adding favor. And so now God wants each and every one of us to understand where we are. In order to wear your coat of many colors, you've got to see yourself as a favored man of God or as a favored woman of God. So I want you to begin to come to agreement with the word. I am a favored woman of God. I am a favored man of God. Wherever you go, you will be singled out for favor this month. Wherever you go, the power of the Lord will overtake you. Wherever you go, favor will announce you. When you rise up in the morning, favor will proclaim an announcement for you. When you step out of your house, favor will announce me. comes the favor one. I came to decrease the atmosphere. I came to announce over your life. This is the month of favor. This is the month of significance. This is the month where the Lord said, I want you to wear.
We are on the prophetic calendar where the Lord is saying, I am giving the ecclesia significance in the earth. Whatever you have been assigned to do, whatever you have been mandated to do in the earth, I am giving you significance. It will be significant in the earth for you to walk in your destiny. It will be significant in the earth for you to fulfill your purpose and your divine calling. I am giving you significance. Some of you, you may feel as though people may have pushed you up down or overlooked you or put their foot on you or overridden or tried to step on you to get ahead but the Lord said it's alright it was just a setback for a setup because where I am taking you is a significant place in the realms of the spirit there is a place prepared for you in the spirit that place is vacant because the Lord is now pushing you into that space may you be pushed into the Lord. 
God has assigned you to do and light shines whenever you are called to come forward to fulfill a purpose in the yes. kingdom of God it is so that your light can shine Hallelujah. and the more that your light shines it is the more that the darkness is scattered yes. so your coat of many colors another thing that your coat of many colors represents is excellence your coat of many colors represents excellence. The Bible says that Daniel had a spirit of excellence upon him. And so wherever you go, in whatever area of your life, whether it be in your home, whether it be on your job, whether it be in your community, whatever you are called to do, the Lord is saying, don't forget, do it with excellence. Listen, this is something I always like to say. You can have a one room house with one chair, one table, one dish set, one dining set, and probably a mini fridge, but it could very well be put away in excellence. Amen. Excellence. Yes. Excellence is not for only the high ranking. Excellence is for the children of God. Yes. It is for you and it is for me. Yes. It is for anyone. Anyone who names the name of the Lord can have an yeah. excellent spirit. Yeah. Any one of us. So when when you go home today, go back into your home and clean it up and put it together and, you know, try to do it with excellence. You may not be able to do your entire house in one day, but do room by room by room. Amen. And so here at the headquarters, we have created and constructed dwelling places for the Lord and we have invited the presence of the Lord to come in and to tabernacle with us we have built dwelling places for the Lord did we do it shabbily or hastily or hurriedly no we took our time and we did it to the best of our ability and every time we come into the house of the Lord little by little we are perfecting it and we are adding to the dwelling places Amen. so those of you that are here today when you enter into the sukkah you're going to see new trinkets and new things that we have bought to beautify the house of the Lord and to beautify the Lord's dwelling place excellence so we are wearing our coat of many colors another thing that the coat of many colors signifies is the preferred one. So when you wear your coat of many colors, you are standing out as the preferred one. You are the preferred one wherever you go. The Lord will put that mantle of favor upon you that you will be the preferred one. When men used to overlook you before, they would single you out for the blessing. I came to announce over your life, God will single you out. God will single you out. God will single you out for the blessing because you will be seen as the preferred one. You will be known as the preferred one. The Lord will choose you wherever you go. Your name will be mentioned in places of great prominence as the the preferred one. You will be the preferred one. Hey! Oh, Rabaka The preferred one. Do I have any preferred ones in the house? Where are the preferred ones? The preferred ones. The preferred ones. Hallelujah to the Lord. The preferred ones. I am the preferred one. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jesus. So now, Whenever you find that you are the preferred one for the blessing and you are the one chosen for the blessing and the promotion and the elevation, all I want you to say is, Lord, thank you. Thank you for your favor on my life. Thank you for your mantles on my life. Thank you that I'm wearing my coat of many colors. Lord, thank you for your blessing. Lord, thank you for favoring me. That's all I want you to say. Lord, thank you. Because it is the blessing of the Lord that makes rich and adds no sorrow. So there is no sorrow attached to your blessing. There is no sorrow attached to your choosing. There is no sorrow attached to your elevation. There is no sorrow attached to your rising. May the Lord choose you. May 
May the Lord choose you in this season. May the Lord single you out for the blessing. May the Lord put his finger upon you and put his gold chain upon your neck. The Lord will single you out. The Lord will bless you in your goings. The Lord will bless you in your comings. The anointing of favor be upon you because you shall be the preferred one. Hey, Rabaka Satakayata. We are the preferred ones. We are the ones walking in favor. Father, we will be the ones walking in that mantle of greatness. That Joseph's anointing is on your life. We're getting ready to do uh, another season of Awaken the Nations broadcasting very soon this month. Awaken the Nations broadcasting has been running for about the past seven years or so. And every year we do different seasons of Awaken the Nations broadcasting. And uh, if you like Bible prophecy, if you like end time studies, if you like to talk about uh, the book of Revelations and dreams and visions and all of that, you can join me. Um, we're going to be streaming live from WHTV channel. So you can go find WHTV Facebook page and you can click like. So we're going to be back again later on this month beginning Awaken the Nations broadcast. Now, I, sh I want you to know that every time we come forth with Awaken the Nations broadcast, it is a new color in our Joseph's coat. That's right. It is a it is like a flower that is opening and blossoming. So it's a new petal that is opening. Amen. Every new petal that opens brings forth a different fragrance, a different anointing. But it is all for the glory and the honor of God. So that his kingdom can advance in the earth. Amen. The vision of WHTV is reaching one million souls with the good news of Jesus Christ. And that is exactly what the Bible says in the last days. Every single person on the face of the earth would have heard the gospel preached. That's right. Jesus never said that everyone will accept it. Come on. He simply said that every single person on the face of the earth will hear the good news of the gospel. Amen. It is up to the hearers to be receivers of the word. And so we see ourselves as sowers of the seed. The Bible tells us that one sows, another waters, but it is God that gives the increase. All souls belong to God. And so when we do Awaken the Nation broadcast and we are calling for a million souls and we are leading others to Christ, some of them, we may never see them walking to the World Harvest Headquarters. But if it's one thing I know, the Lord of the Harvest will direct those souls to the congregation where they need to be. Amen. Because the Bible says, one plants, right. another waters, God. and God gives the increase. Right. And so in this final hour, we, we have to live with a harvest mentality. That's right. And we have to work the harvest as mature harvesters. Amen. What is a mature harvester? A mature harvester is one that scatters the seeds oh, and allows the Holy Spirit to water. That's right. And then we allow the Lord to do the reaping. Right. And that is our mandate at WHTV. We are scattering seeds. Scattering the good news of Jesus Christ. On our broadcast, our TV broadcast. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. One plants, another waters. Yes. But God gives the increase. Hallelujah. And so as we sow the seed of the world, we believe that there will be a great harvest of souls Thank all you. over the world being brought in to the wheat harvest of the Lord. So be sure to check us out on WHTV for great broadcasting and programming. Hallelujah. The coat of many colors. Many of you 
you're stepping into a new season of your life. Another level. Doing something new for the Lord. Sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. Whatever it may be, how simple it may seem. Some of you, you may be a planter. Some of you, you may be a waterer. Some of you, you may be assigned to reap and bring in the souls. Whatever placement the Lord has given you in his harvest fields, always remember, it is the Lord's harvest fields. He is the Lord of the harvest. No souls belongs to any pastor, any minister. We are overseers. We are the shepherds, under shepherds of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so the end result is souls for the kingdom of God. All right? So I want you to walk in your new season. We are going to make a declaration right Thank now. Jesus. I want you to make this declaration. Say, Lord. Lord. I am a harvester. I am a harvester. Help me to walk. Help me to walk. In the new colors of my mantle. In the new colors of my mantle. Let my colors come forth. Let my colors come forth. Give me a kingdom mindset. Give me a kingdom mindset. That I will win souls wherever I go. Win souls wherever I go. Ask the Lord for that now. Lord Ask Jesus. the Lord. Holy Spirit. Give me a kingdom Reveal mindset. the new colors of their mantles. Oh, you said to Dear Lord, that this is the day and this is the time to walk in our Joseph's coat of many colors. So many harvesters are in the kingdom of Christ. But they have a wrong mindset for the harvest. Father, I ask you to reveal your will to these harvesters. Show them where they belong, God. Show them if they are planters. Show them if they are waterers. And show them if they are reapers. You will put the reaping angels to bring in the souls. You are coming into a great season. Many of you, your Joseph's coat of many colors is about to come forth. A new color is coming forth in your life. That new color represents your new anointing. Because we are in a new season. And the Holy Spirit will begin to reveal His will for your life in your new season, in this new level. Some of you, you just simply need to leave your house and just, just go to someone's house. Drop off a package for them. Drop off something special for them. Let them know that we are praying for them. That's your seed. That's the way that you water. It's very simple. Get up, yes. anoint yourself, leave your house. Say, Holy Spirit, show me whose house to go to. Which one of my friends, Lord? Which one of my aunties? Which one of my cousins? Which one of my neighbors in the village should I go to? Whose house should I visit today to drop off a package? And if you pray that prayer, I can guarantee you, the Lord will show you which house to go to. You are a harvester, right? As I was praying on this word, the Joseph's coat of many colors, this is what the Lord revealed to me. I saw some red boxes coming down out of heaven. And the Lord said, Anna, I want these red boxes to go throughout the nation as healing boxes. And as I prayed on it, the Lord showed me exactly how to package these healing boxes. And so I packaged these healing boxes for you, the people of faith, to be a blessing to an elderly, to a sickly person, to a widow. These are gifts from the Holy Spirit for harvesters to send out, to deliver to someone's house that needs a touch from God. If the prophetess will just bring these gifts, these are gifts. I have I've prepared these gifts. And these gifts are coming to the nation of Trinidad and Tobago, the north, the south, the east, the west, the houses of prayer. If probably you can Go up, hold it closer so that they can see. I'll tell you.
anyone they can see. Can you see these gift boxes? These are gifts from the Holy Spirit. Specially packaged with the holy sacraments of communion. Let's go up closer. You can go up even closer that they can see. Specially packaged. It's got the holy communion. It's got the bread. We put the wine. We're putting the prayer. And we're putting a prayer cloth. And when you receive this gift, this is a gift from the Holy Spirit for your miracle. I am coming into agreement for your miracle. For the miracle of your, your son, your daughter, your niece, your nephew, your brother, your sister. We are coming into agreement for your miracle. And so, I've asked the prophetess to package a hundred plus of these. And so we have a limited amount. And as you feel led of the Lord to come, you come and collect one. It's at the headquarters. It's free of charge. There's no, no, no money, no, no price that you can put on the anointing. This is a gift from the Holy Spirit to someone's house that needs it. Every single item inside of these boxes were prayed on. And the final thing we have to pray on, prophetess, is the prayer clause. So, what I want you to do, set this right here, and you and Patricia, go get the, the prayer clause, try to get a few, and just bring it for me, so I can pray on it as a point of contact. Do that in the meantime. Those of you online, you have an, a sick auntie, you may have a sick uncle, a cousin, someone that is in the hospital, someone that is your neighbor, a villager, a boss, a supervisor, whoever it is, you are just allowing the Lord to use you. As a harvester. You may be one that scatters the seed. Or you may be simply one that waters the seed. You are coming to the headquarters. To receive your gift box. And you are going to bless someone's home with the gift box. It's very simple. And that's it. That's all that you have to do. You bless them. You pray for their healing. And then you leave. These are the red gift boxes that the Holy Spirit showed me. And I believe that this represents a new color in our mantle. In our coat of many colors. Red represents the blood. And inside we've got all the sealed crackers. Which represents the broken body. And we have sealed uh, grape juice in here. The prayer and the prayer clothes. I'm going to bless these elements right now. And we're going to bless the prayer clothes as when they bring it up. And for those of you that are in-house, we have prepared Holy Communion right here as well. So you will be able to pray under the sukkah, anoint yourself and partake of that Holy Communion. But we are going to bless these emblems in just a little while. I want us to sing the blood song. Right where you are, you are in an atmosphere of miracles. You are in an atmosphere of healing. If you need healing in your bodies, the atmosphere is ripe for miracles and healing. You can begin to claim your healing right now. The Lord never makes a mistake when He sends a word. He said, this is your time to wear your Joseph's coat of many colors. Today, we are wearing the color of red, which represents the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to sing the blood song until, and then we're going to bless the sacraments. And then everyone will be invited, families, one family at a time, to enter under the pretend.
to pray and anoint yourself with the frankincense and myrrh oil. Hallelujah. Let's sing the holy blood song right now. Every house of prayer that is connected with us, when you come to the headquarters, ask for a few of these packages and we're going to release it to the houses of prayer. Those of you that are in the regions of the houses of prayer, I'd like you to contact your discipleship leader and they're going to be happy to get these gift boxes into your homes for you. You're just going to call them and make arrangements to meet with the houses of prayer and they're going to tell you what to do if you have to meet them somewhere or if you visit the house of prayer, whatever directions. The blood of Jesus. When you get your mic, let's sing that song for The blood of Jesus. Excellent.
I pronounce multiplication on their money. I pronounce increase. I pronounce harvest. I decree and declare your money is blessed. Your finances is blessed. Your homes are blessed. Your bank accounts are blessed. There will be no devourer. I rebuke the devourer in the mighty name of Jesus. And I speak buying power on your dollar. I decree over your life budget, budgetary constraints. I speak over your life financial dominion. I speak over your life money will come to me money. Blessings will come to me blessings. Favor will come to me favor. As you give at this messianic altar in Yeshua's name. Amen. You are blessed. Your money is blessed. With the first uh, family, go ahead and um, guide the first family. Give your shoes at your, at your chairs and uh, we are going to put you under the prayer tent. If anyone is not sure what that is, that's the pressure. So we're going to put the pressure over you and you can sit at the altar. Anoint yourselves with the oil, drop your offerings in the basket, have your holy communion.
say thank you for being on the bus in church online. Be sure to come next week. There's always something special happening at the prayer tower designed with you in mind. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, and the Lord make his face to shine upon you. If you would like to have one of the Holy Communion gift boxes, you are welcome. Uh, please just call, call any one of the prayer lines and let them know that you are coming to receive your gift box, okay? Because you just have a limited amount. The Lord bless you, everyone.